bricks in my head or something. Where is with the L'Oreal? Here I go. I'm kind of looking at myself and I don't really know what's going on. Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's here for today's video. As you can see by the title, we are testing out the brand new Revolution Foundation in a Powder. <laughs> unboxed it in the next clip i've already got all my finger marks all over it but it just comes in this rose gold packaging quite compact it is the conceal and define range so it's quite similar to the foundation from what it says but i really hope you do enjoy this video i kind of compared it a little bit to the l'oreal one only because i use that foundation all the time i have used the conceal and define foundation as well and seeing as they're the only two powder foundations I've tried so far, I feel like it's quite good to compare. And obviously the L'Oreal powder foundation video is already up on my channel, so if you have watched that then I obviously can tell you the differences and you might be able to notice differences yourself. But I do kind of compare them but also just try and compare it to the Conceal and Define foundation because I'm just doing a review on this product. I really hope you do enjoy this video, if you do make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Let's get on to the video. So in today's video, obviously you heard by the introduction, obviously they don't have any foundation on at the moment. I've done a little bit of concealer just under my eye, just a little bit. And basically it looks like this. I actually, let me just get out of the box, but I actually think the packaging is so pretty. It's quite simple. I'm not the biggest rose gold fan, but I do think it looks quite nice. So that is what it looks like. You probably can't see all that well but it's like a compact so you literally press it and it opens up it comes with a sponge which again I absolutely hate these sponges um, but it is pink which is cute quite like that and it's got like a little silk touch that says revolution on so although I wouldn't use that I think it's good it comes with it now what I really really like about this is when you open it up it's actually got like a plastic cover that stays on it's not just like one of them flimsy sheets like it literally is completely covered so then that's not going into the mirror or if you get like the powder everywhere it's not going to go into the mirror so i think that's really really nice i think that's really really good packaging so i actually picked up the shade p5 purely because if anyone's got the conceal and define foundations i've got f4 and f6 and I wasn't sure, it, there wasn't like anything identical. As you all know, I love my yellow tones, but a lot of these were pink and I'm really not sure what it's gonna be like, but I'm gonna give it a go. So I've obviously already moisturized my face. It doesn't seem to have like loads coming off. I love that every single time I do this, I use the viewfinder rather than like a mirror. It does actually have a mirror inside okay that seems quite nice it's just like if you've seen my l'oreal infallible powder foundation and then you'll see what i thought of that but this seems to be going on quite flawlessly i think i should get a mirror for better judgment okay so although i have got a mirror inside it is quite small and i just feel like it would probably be better if i just try and do it like this i'm not going to compare it too much to the l'oreal because obviously it is different i'll try and like compare it as much as i can but i want to make it more of like just a review of this product rather than comparing the two but i'll probably let you know at the end which one i prefer okay did you see that quite a lot went on then and you can actually see to start with i was a bit where was with the l'oreal here i go i literally was just like oh i won't compare them and now i've just compared them but like when i put the l'oreal one on um i found that at first as soon as i put it on to start with i was like oh my god that's so much and i didn't know how it's gonna like spread whereas this seems to be a lot more like maybe apply a little bit more and it does feel a lot it feels so powdery when you put it on but like exactly like the l'oreal one it's so lightweight so it really feels like you haven't really got anything on i think it's just the application of it makes you feel like you're constantly putting powder on but once it's actually on it's actually not too bad and i quite like it because it makes me feel like at the end of the day i don't feel like oh my god i just want to get makeup off 
So how is everyone? I feel like we haven't had a catch up for ages. I know that, what the hell is that? It literally feels like forever. And this is like one of my first creative looks really of the year. Like I've only done, I think three. I think this might be my third. If you've been following me for literally ages, you'll know that like lockdown one, I did so many creative looks. So it's so bizarre for me. I do feel like with this one, I've got to put a lot more on. And I did think, I have to say, it matches my skin perfectly. It seems to just make my skin really flawless. I am gonna go in with concealer. So first impressions, I feel like it's gone in really, really well. It does, it doesn't look powdery, it doesn't look cakey at all. It does feel powdery when I apply it, but now it's on, it doesn't. So, and on my forehead, it started to like, I think I've applied a bit too much on my forehead. But I'm gonna go and put my concealer on. There's a, there's a few things I wanna see how it's gonna work, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna apply my concealer. So this is the Revolution concealer as well. I did a testing video on this separately if you wanna see how this, how I like, what I think of this and all the benefits to this. The thing I find the weirdest is definitely putting liquid on top of powder. Like it just, it just seems really, really odd. And I did find with the L'Oreal one, when I was putting concealer on here, it was a bit weird because it all looked nice. But I want to see how this one works, especially because I don't apply foundation under my eyes. So obviously I'm not like applying foundation and then concealer under my eyes, it's just here. Sometimes when I do my powder and stuff, sometimes I put a bit more concealer like here or something. So I feel like that never really does anything. So I actually use two because I think I prefer this shade. This is in Fair. The other one was light, but I actually think this one suits me a lot better. It normally suits my foundation shade. This does match my skin tone, but I do think it is slightly lighter than what I'd normally use. I've got so many foundations that literally match my skin tone, but I just think as I tanned before, obviously probably burst towel on my face, I do think this foundation is just a little bit lighter than what I'd normally use anyway. But I do think because based on like the undertones and stuff, if I had to use a different one, it probably would have been more pink and then I would have preferred to use this one anyway. So that's actually the only thing. I just wish sometimes um, they did every single shade in the three undertones. You know the Ordinary um, Coverage Foundation? I know that they do every single number and then they do it in like different undertones as well and i way prefer that because then you can get two that are really similar but they're both yellow today has actually been so sunny as well they're so off topic but today i think that's why i went for like a sunset look today i went for two walks before anyone comes at me i literally went on my daily walk that i'd normally go on and then my dog literally can't walk that far so i just took her for a short walk after that's why i said two walks in case anyone thinks i'm just you know you never know just letting you know and it's literally so so sunny like and when i went as well because i don't know about you but when i've been going for walks recently it's been sunny but it's been absolutely freezing and like i just don't want to go for walks like that like i'd way prefer to just kind of wait because when it's literally so cold i'm not even exaggerating but my face was literally like frozen and i couldn't really enjoy myself that much like i was really struggling to enjoy my walk because it was so cold but this morning i went out on a walk quite early and it was actually like really warm and i had my coat on but i actually don't think i would have needed to take my coat with me so i'm just gonna see how this um contour blends in with the foundation i'm gonna actually use contour today because i've stopped using contour i always used to use it on my forehead but i just don't really do that anymore i way prefer just using it on my cheeks because i feel like then my cheeks get most of the definition but it's actually blended so well i just think these brands are just smashing it because these products are so affordable I forgot to mention this is actually eight pounds and l'oreal is 13 i think i think the fenty was fenty the first brand to come out with this idea because i've definitely i've seen that but 
I haven't actually tried the brand and I really, really want to. I just don't really know what products to try. So if you have got anything from Fenty, then I'd love to know. Like, I really, really would. Like, let me know in the comments your favourite Fenty products because I really want to try the brand. Maybe I should do it for a testing video and, like, testing different things from the brand but i've seen it in boots um but i haven't seen like a lot like, i haven't seen like a big range so if i was gonna get stuff i haven't seen it all like together there's just like a few things and it's normally lip glosses that i see as well i don't feel like you can judge a brand on the lip gloss but i know like they are supposed to be really good so it seems to have worked quite well i feel like i've had to i don't really really enjoy pink contour all over my forehead but i feel like i had to because otherwise i feel like the foundation and the concealer were pretty much the same shade and i normally always have my concealer lighter um that's obviously not the brand's fault like i've just picked that shade but i think because of that then i've had to contour and i'm not really used to it so i'm kind of looking at myself and i don't really know what's going on i'm just applying some cream blusher honestly i'm obsessed with cream blusher i think it's so nice also this next bit i was talking about the powder foundation not the cream blusher so when i talk about the liquid i wasn't about the foundation looking at it really closely it kind of looks a bit more like a liquid and um, the way it's sat it kind of feels like i can move it around which i am doing and it seems to be moving and so it is a liquid so maybe if you put it in the wrong place you can quickly like smudge it although it's a powder it's still like giving you that opportunity so this part i always i don't really enjoy when i'm using these foundations just because i feel like it makes my whole entire face very very powdery i'm going to try and put on as minimal powder as possible and just do it there rather than taking it all the way up because i feel like my face just feel quite dry now like i feel like i'm clenching my face up and i'm not that's the only thing like it doesn't really feel very drying like on my cheeks but like my forehead feels very like i feel like i've got botox in my head or something if I was going to have anything in my head, it would be a forehead reduction, not a Botox. But I do kind of feel like I'm going like, I'm frowning. That, that, that's what it feels like. But it's only on my forehead and I don't know. I don't Please let me know if anyone discovers a way that you can frown anywhere other than your forehead. Honestly, at this point, I just give up. I feel like I put that much on my forehead. Like I was just putting the average amount and there's quite a large surface area to... um fill but i obviously just put concealer i haven't put powder on my forehead it's literally just the foundation concealer and a little bit of contour but not in this area and this is the area that i feel like i'm frowning it's like it feels like there's pressure on me to frown because of it on my forehead i don't really know but i'm going to go and remove the powder add some highlight and i will be back Okay, so I'm actually really happy. I feel like I've sprayed some setting spray. My face looks really fresh and really glowy, even here, which I haven't put highlighter there. Um, I just think it just feels really dry on my forehead. Obviously, that's just my honest opinion. I don't know if I've put too much on. I don't feel like I have. And it's only here. It's not like anywhere else. So I know it's not any other products. And I know the concealer's not drying, so it's obviously the foundation. I really like how it's applied under my cheeks as well. I feel like it's applied a lot better than the L'Oreal one, but I do prefer the L'Oreal one, I think, in general. I do prefer the L'Oreal one, especially for, like, a full face review, I think. So if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. Especially, like, it really just feel quite drying on my forehead, but um, the L'Oreal wasn't as good over here. I do think it's turned out really, really well. I would recommend it. I'm not even sure if I would particularly pick a different shade i think it's actually worked out quite well it just meant i had to contour a little bit but i am really happy with how it's turned out the only thing i would say is the drying on my forehead my skin's not dry it's normal like it's not really oily it's kind of like if i buy like a certain um skin cut item i tend to go for normal to combination skin but i do really like how it's turned out it doesn't seem to have cracked anywhere um so that was the only thing i would say but i really really hope you did enjoy this video i hope you liked the more creative look as well i always find it looks so much better when you're looking down like this but that is the end of the video i'm gonna go and dry my hair now and take some pictures i really really hope you did enjoy and i'll see you very soon in a brand new video bye